Hi, it's Azusa. Today, we are going to show you how to make one of the most popular Japanese dishes, chirashi sushi. Sushi is the most well known Japanese dish in the world, and you may have tried a nigiri or sushi rolls before. But did you know that this chirashi sushi is the most home cooking friendly and easy to make at home? Chirashi sushi can be translated to scattered sushi. It's with sushi rice spread it out on the plate with some toppings such as vegetables and a fish sashimi scattered over the rice. Easy to prep and beautiful to taste. Start by cooking rice. Two cups of white rice and a piece of dried kombu kelp seaweed. It's a great essence to bring the best umami while cooking in the rice cooker. Today, I'm adding some simmered vegetables to the sushi rice, and we call this gomoku sushi. It's with various ingredients mixed with rice, and it's more savory than just sushi rice. Get dried shiitake mushrooms. Soak them in the water. Please preserve the water. We call this shiitake dashi, which contains umami broth from the shiitake mushrooms. You will use this shiitake dashi for simmering the vegetables. After 20 to 30 minutes, take the shiitake out of the water by squeezing to remove the water and cut them in small strips. Cut carrots in two strips. I like adding this bright orange color to the sushi. It's part of the beautiful sushi plate. And I add both vegetables in a pot, add sugar, soy sauce, sake, mirin, and the water you use for the shiitake. This water is the key to bring the umami. And I put it on a stove for a low heat and a simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. While cooking the vegetables, let's prepare the toppings for the chirashi sushi. We are making thin egg crepes cut into strips. Beat the eggs, make a thin crepe with the egg. The yellow color of the egg is also nice on the decoration. In Japan, we have chirashi sushi at some happy occasions or cultural events such as Hina Matsuri, a girl's day, or at the parties. Such simple steps to make and it comes out so beautiful on the table, so why not try to make it one day? Boil some shrimp. I always stock frozen shrimps in my freezer, it's very convenient for meal prepping. Chop salmon. I use the sushi grade salmon here, cut into cube sizes. You can always marinate the fish with soy sauce and sesame oil if you would like. And cut shiso leaves. I love this aroma flavor. Now you have the most of the color to decorate the sushi rice. And by this time, the simmered vegetables should be ready. The water has mostly evaporated, and it's ready to add in the sushi rice. Let's move on to the sushi rice. For the sushi vinegar, mix 1 half tablespoon of sugar, 3 tablespoons of rice vinegar, and a pinch of salt. Once the rice is done, take out the kombu seaweed. Remove the rice to the bowl, Add a sushi vinegar mixture, and it mix quickly. Then add the simmered vegetables. I would suggest adding the sauce of the vegetables as well. It will make the rice more savory. Again, mix very lightly. You will like fluffy rice not watery smashed rice. Traditionally, for the chirashi sushi, rice is served in a large wooden platter called sushi oke or hangiri. But I found that tart pan works totally fine. 
and let's stop with the prepared ingredients. For the toppings, you can also use tuna, unagi, avocado, cucumber, uh, spinach, or edamame. Just be creative and pick what you have in your fridge. We hope you enjoy learning how to make Jirashi Sushi. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.